Verify is a platform solution that is essentially, uh, we are trying to digitize the entire mining sector. And it sounds vague and sounds hard to accomplish, especially because we are a sector that, <clears throat> as we've learned this morning, is full of dinosaurs. But Verify is making a lot of headway uh, to this end. Now, now what you're looking at here <clears throat> uh, is the home screen of our app. Now everything I walk you through today, you're able to either just download on your phone or go to our website. Um, you'll see a lot of different clients. You can go to their individual websites and see these tours as well. And just before I get into it, uh, a little bit of background on myself and, and Verify. So my background is not on the technology side. It's actually on the, on the industry side. Um, I was the CEO of a company called Integra Gold from 2012 to 2017 um, and took that company through uh, from one employee in Quebec to now it's about 300, um, a 10 million market cap to a 600 million dollar acquisition. Everything that we've built at Verify is based on our experience. <clears throat> Everything we've built at Verify uh, is based on our experience on the corporate side. Um, <clears throat> what you see here uh, is it, it all started with an idea we had at Integra Gold. I'm going to click on Eldorado because Eldorado is the company that bought Integra Gold. But I'm going to take you through what was essentially the first virtual tour. So this is the Lamac project. It's in Quebec. And a virtual tour to simplify is essentially picture a bunch of panoramic photos can be taken by a ground photographer with a drone that are linked together one to the next that create kind of a virtual rendering of a site. This is a drone shot over our project in Lamac. It sits right next to the community of Eldor, a mining community of 35,000 people, and next to a 4.5 million uh, ounce producer called the Lamac Mine, and another 4.5 million ounce uh, historic producer called the Sigma Mine. Now, we built out this tour of Integra Gold's Lamac project because it, it was nonsensical to us that we would charter planes, bring 10 to 20 people per year on site to show them our site. We had thousands and thousands of investors and we wanted to show them kind of the power of our site and we felt the best way to do that was to kind of do it in a virtual setting. We wanted to show them that we weren't just an average, your average exploration company, we were actually building a mine. We wanted geologists and technical people to be able to go underground and take a look at what the rocks actually look like. So we created this virtual tour and the initial intent was very much it's going to be a retail tool. It's a tool that the average retail investor can use to assess what we do as a company. And it's one more thing that we can use as a company to compete for capital and showcase what we do. What we learned as we were out marketing our company, taking people through, um, we'd go in, we'd sit down, be at a presentation like this or two, three people in a room. As we started to discuss what we were doing, we would spend about 90% of the time on the PowerPoint and then 10% with an iPad walking investors, stakeholders, whoever it be, through, uh, through these virtual tours. What happened very quickly in about a three month process, we ended up spending 90% of our time in the virtual tour and about 10% actually going through a PowerPoint. So what we did was we actually took all our PowerPoint slides, our maps, our cross sections, everything else, and we incorporated them right into it. And we spent the entire time, and that's where we came up with this idea for Verify. We at Verify believe that the way the industry both collects and presents information, I, I don't want to say wrong, um, could be made a lot better. I'm going to take you through, I'm the, we, since, since the sale of Integra Gold, we started another company called Integra Resources. Um, I swapped roles with our chairman, so I'm the chairman of Integra Resources, but I spend all my time on Verify. And in about 90 seconds, I want to show you what a presentation looks like in the context of sort of a, a, a virtual tour. So this is our project in Idaho, which we bought from Kinross. Uh, a year ago, almost to the day. Um, it's a past producing uh, mine called the Delamar Mine, and right next to it, uh, there was a satellite deposit called the Florida Mountain. <clears throat> we have a two and a half million ounce resource at Delamar, and you can see that that resource sits right about here. Now, this mine shut down in 1998 because gold was at $300 an ounce, and we decided there's a lot of opportunity to go back in and explore this mine. So, we started stepping out testing on the, edge, the edges of that resource. And if the resource ends right about here, we drilled three holes outside of that resource. <clears throat> and we hit some phenomenal grades, much higher than, than the average uh, resource grade. <clears throat> what, we've, what we hit was two grams over 220 meters and four grams over 73 meters. What we also did is we did some IP work and we found there's a big anomaly that comes down right in this direction and then heads off essentially into nowhere. And it's an area that's never been tested before. Now I'm not going through this so you all invest in integrative resources. You're more than welcome to if you'd like. But it's 
to show the power of a, of a tour. What we've done now at Verify that we never did at the Integra Gold days is we, we've added 3D modeling. So now when I take you into a 3D model, and again, this is all in a presentation format that anyone here with a smartphone can download, I can take you through and, take you through and show you that same site. But also, those results I was just talking about, I can show you in the context of the 2,500 historic drill results uh, that Kinross put in, where we're now hitting grade, and that IP anomaly that I just mentioned, what that looks like in com in com uh, compared to where the resource sits. We at Verify, we're not coming up with any new technology per se. A lot of what we do is off-the-shelf off technology. What we're doing is we're taking all these little bits of information that whether we like it or not, are, are <clears throat> they're displayed or, or they're presented to the market in a very technical uh, fashion and we're trying to simplify it so anybody that, that within sort of 90 seconds to two minutes can understand what it, what it is exactly that we do. <clears throat> what we've done at Verify is we've gone out and we started this year with four clients. We had Gold Corp, uh, Pure Gold, Alio, and Integra Resources. Um, in the last 10 months, um, as of today, we have 49 clients. We've had 15 clients sign up uh, in October. So we're at this point where our view of the world is that we, for, for investors to understand, and, and investors may be oversimplifying, I should say stakeholders, to understand what we do as an industry, they need one place to go. For the same reason that nobody goes to stevedejong.com because a platform came in place in the form of Facebook and put all that information together, <clears throat> we believe there's a real opportunity. <clears throat> uh, the last thing I want to show you just so I don't go over time here, um, is what, what else you can do with this. If any time you're, you're meeting with investors, stakeholders, whoever it may be, you often want to show more than just your expiration potential. You will never meet a junior company that doesn't have the highest potential, most exciting gold, whatever project it is in the entire world. We don't have the tools as stakeholders to really differentiate what companies are real and which aren't. So we can add 3D models, we can add technical information to allow investors, stakeholders to have that information. The other thing we can do is we can really showcase and highlight the companies that are doing a good job. <clears throat> Rocks Gold, for example, it's a tough to get to asset. It's in Burkina Faso. Rocks Gold has spent a lot of time investing in their local community. So instead of taking you through the mine site, we can go through that same virtual tour, but we can spend our time in the local village and go through visually some of the initiatives that Rock School's done um, that have a positive impact on its community. These are some of my favorite shots in the, in the entire platform. But again, what we're trying to do is, this is coming from someone who believes in the industry. I don't believe that mining companies are bad, but I believe there's a lot of noise out there that um, make it very difficult for stakeholders to understand which, one, which ones are the, are the good ones and which ones, uh, which ones aren't. And it's tools like this that Giving tools like this into the hands of company executives um, will allow them to tell their individual stories. <clears throat> I'm going to leave it at that. We do have a booth in the back corner there. Um, if anyone has any questions or would like to see more, again, you're welcome to download this app, um, go to the Verify website, uh, and do some of these tours by, on your own. <clears throat> Thank you very much.